Why would anyone want to come in here and face a physique like this? Unless they're brave, unless they're confident, unless they think they can win. And for that reason, I'm all for it. Happy Monday, welcome back to the channel. I got big news in the men's physique division. Germano Victor wins the Arnold Classic South America. Emmanuel Hunter finally redeems himself after that sixth place 2024 Arnold Classic finish, punching his ticket to the Mr. Olympia. Our boy Big Dan, rookie of the year, is in peak week. Will he go one and done? We're gonna find that out in this video. And Jeremy Buendia, the four-time champ, is Fragile. I'm not playing that game. I've been in this game for a long time, dude. And the fact that you think you, you have something to do with my comeback and building hype up behind me. That's why I'm saying get off your high horse, bro. I've been doing this a long time before you were even around. You're probably still in elementary school when I started this shit, bro. I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe if you are new. Without further ado, let's hop into another incredible video. Let's go. Emmanuel Hunter, who is fourth in the world, showed up yesterday over in the East Coast of the United States at the Charlotte Pro. You guys are looking at the winner of the entire show. Emmanuel Hunter punches his ticket to the Mr. Olympia. And I want you guys to take this video with a grain of salt because these videos are never how these guys actually look on stage. Even when Gilco shoots this, this wasn't Gilco, this was a different guy. Even when Gilco shoots, it doesn't do these physiques justice. You really have to be there. And the reason I say that is because I've been seeing some comments already about Emmanuel Hunter, how he doesn't deserve this win. Trust me, boys, Emmanuel Hunter is fourth in the world for a reason. And all the rows of judges right there that were in in front of him yesterday obviously thought that as well but that doesn't mean we can't break down first place and second place second place was dustin alvis and shout out to ben quill pierre who is another men's physique olympian coaching a more men's physique pros like dustin alvis who just got second place and why did dustin alvis get second place to emmanuel hunter i think Emmanuel Hunter just has more of a complete physique. I think from the front, Dustin Alvis falls behind from Emmanuel throughout the chest, the arms, maybe even the midsection. Emmanuel Hunter also looked a lot harder to me from the front based off of these photos. Now, when we turn around here, it's a completely different story. I really like the muscle separation that I see with Dustin Alvis from the back. It's much, much closer. If Emmanuel really wants to separate himself next time with Dustin, I want to see muscle separation more of it from the back how about third place clarence mcspadden versus first place fourth in the world emmanuel hunter dude clarence's physique is so cool to me because he's a taller dude but the legs are so massive it really gives him such a nice x frame and creates an overall really complete men's physique look and i think the judges are really looking for that in 2024. We understand that men's physique is still an upper body dominant division and that's what they're really judging, but damn, it does not hurt to have some Clarence McSpadden legs. So shout out to Clarence, third place at the Charlotte Pro. But back to the champ, back to fourth in the world. Here he is backstage with a $3,500 first place check with his lovely girlfriend, Liz. And this has got to feel good if you are Emmanuel. You know Emmanuel thought he was gonna win that on a classic or at least get top two or three. And then to come in and get sixth place was hard. So seeing this, seeing this flex, another crazy flex backstage, this just shows you how hard and vascular Emmanuel was. Guys, Emmanuel won this show fair and square. It wasn't even a question wasn't even a question i talked about it yesterday as you see this photo of them partying like they should after showtime when emmanuel hunter comes in how he should come in for a show the olympia judges the head judges of the ifbb pro league believe he is fourth in the world another great photo of emmanuel hunter he says iman going to the o emmanuel needed to qualify for the olympia getting fourth in the world does not qualify you for the men's physique mr olympia anymore he had to qualify in my last photo i'm going to leave with you guys of emmanuel hunter is him getting ready to enjoy some extremely delicious looking dessert looks like some donuts somewhere looks fantastic and emmanuel hunter you looked fantastic okay 
Big Dan is finally in peak week. Let's take a look at this video that I captured, recorded over the weekend. And Dan does have a very special physique. A lot of people don't know he hasn't been bodybuilding very long and he hasn't been doing the men's physique thing for very long either. But I'd say he's, you know, off to an amazing start. This is still his rookie year. He says, I'm practicing till he gets it right. And I hope he gets it right. Again, the way Dan has been handling himself with all the hate that he's been receiving, I think Dan's a stand up guy. I've had companies that I will not name have reached out to me asking me if I know anything about Dan because of how much he's exploding on Instagram and, and who is he as a person. And I'm so happy to tell him he's a good guy. How you display yourself on social media, boys, is huge. But what needs to happen for Dan to win? Three things, posing, stage presence, and will the judges think Dan has enough balance from top to bottom? That's all it is. I think Dan is gonna be peaked perfectly. It just comes down, can Dan pose? Can Dan display this physique, which is going to be the most dominant physique on stage? Can he display that in the best way possible for him? That's what I wanna see. Either two things, guys, two things are gonna happen this weekend at the Tri-City Classic. Either we're gonna have a bunch of pros show up because they want some clout and they wanna be talked about on the YouTube and Dan's showing up and there's a lot of eyes and attention, or a lot of pros may not show up because they don't wanna get their ass handed to them by Dan. And this is no shade on Emmanuel, but imagine Emmanuel coming in here and losing to Dan after just winning a show. Why would Emmanuel come in here? Why would anyone wanna come in here and face a physique like this? Unless they're brave, unless they're confident, unless they think they can win. And for that reason, I'm all for it because I love competition. Dan looks absolutely insane. And he has been looking insane for the last few weeks as we, as I've been continuing to update you. Not a lot of people can post three, four times on Instagram of just their physique and continue to blow up and get all this attention. But Dan, this one in a billion physique, I think, deserves it. I love this photo of little Dan. You never know what type of physique you could unveil if you don't give it your all. I think there's thousands of Dans walking around. I think there's thousands of Phil Heaths. I really do, genetically. There's people out there that have the ability to look like Dan, but if you don't want to even, right? You gotta want to be a bodybuilder, but if you don't give it your all, you'll never manifest a physique like this, guys. And is he going to the Mr. Olympia? IFBB Pro Dan, he says, this is my weekly wrap up. I'm riding the roller coaster this week, <laughs> but we're just six days away from touching down on a major milestone. Countdown to competition, countdown to the competition that could take us to the Olympia. Hashtag road to the Olympia, hashtag final stretch. I wanna know right now, put in the comments below. I promise you I'm gonna read these comments and I'll probably post this on my Instagram later today on my story of some of the best comments. Is Dan Ibrahim, the 25 year old prodigy, going one and done this weekend at the Tri-City Classic. Throw in the comments down below. I can't wait to read all of them. Oh, okay. there it is. I won't be back. <laughs> that sucks. All right, so for those of y'all that haven't seen my story yet and saw my last post about this and the tear, I tore it bowling, guys. Bowling of all things. Look at wild hell. With bodybuilders, we can lift hundreds of pounds, but bowling, We'll put you out. This is what it is, you know. I, I ain't gonna sit here and sulk in my sorrows or try to get too upset. Though I'm not gonna lie, like I do get like little waves of emotions where I'm like, "Fuck!" Because dude, I want to be back at the gym. I I was very excited about this season, and I I still think I can make something happen. You know, hopefully, if the doctor says I don't need surgery, they just hop off some peptides and uh, some therapy, and should be good. You know, but mixed. Uh, Getting mixed answers from everywhere, so we'll see. But uh, yeah, don't bowl. Oh, this one hurts. I know it wasn't just me who wanted to see this caliber of physique on the men's physique stage in 2024. Jeremy Potvin tears his bicep bowling. I'm never going bowling again if that's the case. I mean, hopefully it was still a nice score, Jeremy. 
but this is heartbreaking but like you said it's not hopefully it's not so so much of a crushing blow so much of a crushing injury where we don't see this physique sometime later in the year Jeremy, the entire men's physique community is behind you, bro. No one wishes this upon anyone. And we wish for your speediest recovery. Because again, as I look at this video, bro, you're freaky as f I was young. I wanted big arms. You think you'd get more attention from women, but it's only guys that want to speak to you. Bro, <laughs> how much you bench? Bro, where do you train? It's kind of fucked up. I was tricked. I was tricked into getting jacked. And you know what? Being strict got Sadiq to where he is now as far as how great he is in the bodybuilding world and the fitness industry, but like, it's so true. I commented, I said, I definitely care more about your arms than any girl, bro, trust me. It's so true, man, when it's so weird as guys, we think getting big and jacked is gonna attract all these girls in the gym or outside of the gym, and it's just simply not the case. I'd say 99.9% .9 of women would much rather prefer a l much less jacked dude. Just lean, muscular, good mobility, like that's it. Nice V taper from the back. Girls don't like giant steroided out guys. Like if the girl sees you at the gym and you look like you're on steroids, I guarantee you the girl doesn't think you're attractive. So the guys care much more about your gains than the girls. So just remember that. So when you go in the gym, don't worry about any women, just get in your zone. But I wanna talk about Sadiq. Because we're about, what, 14, 15, 13-ish weeks out. Someone was telling me maybe the Chicago Pro. And last year, you guys are watching a recap of one of his best looks. Sadiq brought that shit. Won a pro show as soon as he came back to the vision. Then got top three at another giant show. We missed him at the Olympia, but he's coming back this year. Sadiq Hatsevik, my guy. A guy who handles adversity in a great way. He says, what they hate in you is missing in them keep shining i fucking love that from sadiq let me read that one more time for anyone who really needs to hear this this morning anyone that's hating on you and whatever you're doing and i can only hope you have good intentions behind what you're doing but anyone that is hating on you trust me it's what is missing in them a lot of people can't stay committed a lot of people can't stay disciplined a lot of people can't persevere they're gonna hate that about you if you keep doing that shit because it goes against who they are I love Sadiq, I love the motivation in the morning, and he looks massive 13, 14, 15 weeks out. Let's go. He's gotta compete multiple times this year, I think, and win those shows and smoke everyone. That way, months leading up to the Olympia, weeks leading up to the Mr. Olympia, he has all this momentum on his side instead of just posting on Instagram all year and then showing up to the Olympia with a mid-level physique. Now, I still believe in Jeremy Buendia, but he has to prove it to me before this year's Mr. Olympia. Was that that harsh? Was that last comment that negative? I still believe in Jeremy Buendia, but JB has to prove it to me before this year's Mr. Olympia. Last year, let me just read you what Jeremy responded as a comment on that reel. Jeremy Buendia says, but bro, you love me posting all year long though. That's where you pulled 85% of your content. And I should have replied and said, you know, Jeremy, I think it was more like 90, 95% of my content. Bro, everyone was using your content whether it was other bodybuilding channels that don't even cover men's physique or just random kids on the internet, everyone was waiting to see how great the comeback would be from one of the greatest of all time. And over the last couple of years, all I've been doing has been rooting for Jeremy Buendia. So to see him post this after that reel, after the description, I'll put the description up here. It doesn't really shock me. I know Jeremy is fragile inside because when someone makes something about you and if you don't like what they say or you don't like what they're, they're putting out there, you don't respond like this. You respond, you don't respond emotionally. You take a step back. You think, okay, how has Hart been talking about me for the last year? Pretty good. Here's my description. I said, I still believe in Jeremy Buendia, but he must prove it to us all before the 2024 Olympia. These days, winning any pro men's physique show is getting harder and harder to do, and it certainly ain't 2016 anymore when Jeremy was winning those. Do you all think Jeremy Buendia will win a show or two before this year's Mr. Olympia? I said, I'm definitely excited to see what he brings this year. I'm forever rooting for Jeremy Buendia. 
I had some good comments from some supporters of mine. Mikey Slew said, Jeremy Buendia, bro, Hart McGrath has been rooting for you and just wants you to come in the way we all seen you come in years before. This ain't the champ speaking that I know and seen before. You're better than this, Jeremy. Keep that champ mentality up. Guys, the thing is, Jeremy isn't there yet. Jeremy's mentality isn't a champ mentality. How I like to think about the post that I made about Jeremy, imagine if I made that same post about Sadiq or Ryan Terry. How would they respond? Think about that. DT Fastemi says, Mikey Slew, I can't agree more. This response to what was a valid opinion of mine is not how a champ operates. Hart McGrath didn't say anything negative and even says he believes in the guy. Jeremy Buendia, why are you angry? He's right. Maybe think before you type really like that. He hyped you up a lot last year. And if it wasn't for him, most people wouldn't even know about you since you stepped down years ago. You know who benefited most from me covering Jeremy Buendia? Jeremy Buendia. You know whose content got pushed out even further and how, you know who made more money on YouTube? Because of me, guys. Because of all the content I made of Jeremy Buendia. Jeremy Buendia is still fragile. I think this comment tells us a lot about where he sits in his head and his mind about things. But guess what? Kindness is really, really cheap and it goes a long way. I still believe in Jeremy Buendia. I still appreciate the guy and I'm still going to cover him. Let's go. Germano Victor wins the 2024 South America Arnold Classic. Now, I've been talking about Germano Victor for the last couple months. I saw his physique on Instagram and I had to let the world know. And now everything I said is finally coming to fruition. Germano Victor wins one of the biggest men's physique shows in the world and he looks insane. Let's just start with the calves. Work your way up right past the knees to see the freaking legs on this guy. And then the torso. The torso is so unique and the shape is so unique with Germano Victor. Let's run this back. It's a very long torso. Very long torso, but he's so damn wide up top, shoulder to shoulder, that the proportions are insane. And when he turns from the back, a lot of people have been comparing Germano Victor's back to an Aaron Banks back. If Germano Victor continues to keep this progress up, my friends, it will be a much better back than Aaron Banks one day. Germano, Bic Germano Victor is out of Brazil and my guy is coming. It is so nice to see this guy getting rewarded for bringing a top-notch physique to the South American Arnold Classic stage. Congratulations, bro. If you guys are interested in coaching, I love coaching guys whether it's lifestyle changing your physique becoming fat becoming strong lean healthy and flexible or whether you want to hop on stage like my most recent client justin kitchen and for the last 12 11 weeks has been busting his ass and i mean busting his ass this is a 39 year old almost 40 year old don't quote me on that jay He's very sensitive about that. Almost 40-year-old, natural, first-time men's physique competitor. He's doing a show this weekend, and I'm so excited. This is a 90-day natural transformation, and we're in peak week. If you guys are interested in coaching, you can hit me up. Send me a DM. If you guys are interested with huge, man, I got a couple things for you. So I have that wrecked, engaged pre-workout. This is all energy, focus, drive, euphoria. No pump in this. All focus, all drive, insane stimulants, crazy energy in the gym. What you want to pair that with is some pump serum. This has none of the stim, but it's all formulated for you to get the craziest pump of your f***ing life. Pump serum and the rect engaged is the combo you guys want. It's phenomenal. Hopefully you guys can see that. Last thing I'm going to leave you guys with, with the Jeremy Buendia thing, I just want everyone, do yourself a favor, do your future self a favor, really listening to me here, because this is all I'm going to say for the rest of the video. Really try to stay away from people who are belittling your ambitions. And my ambitions are just to grow this division, to grow the league, to hype everyone up. Small people will always belittle your ambitions. It's only the really great ones that will make you feel great, that will bring you up, that will support, that will encourage you, and that won't tear down your ambitions. How are you gonna hate on someone for trying? I love you guys. I'm gonna get out of here. Have an incredible week. I know I'm going to. I love you guys. I'm out.